It is said somewhere under Prince Albert lies a small network of tunnels that long ago housed gamblers, drinkers, amorous husbands, and ladies of the night. Some say they are still there, forgotten and abandoned, while others don't believe the hype. But former Prince Albert Alderman Lee Giese, who's now in his 90s, says he's seen them and even walked through them decades ago. When I went down in there, I was 69 or 70. And Marion Sherman was still alive then, and, and she went with me. And how come we found out that it was there? There was nobody from the city knew it was there. No. Because we went and we were leveling it with, a, had a contractor, and all of a sudden, boom, he broke through, and here he's sitting like this on the blade down in the hole. And there was about, not as high as the ceiling. I would say it was seven foot walls, and they were old railroad ties. That tunnel was made out of railroad ties. It was dug out by hand. And then they put the floor in and they set ties on the mid walls out of them and put a roof over it, just ties. So I brought my ladder and uh, Marion Sherman, she was there. I helped her, she come down the ladder then too. And the way the two of us went, we walked down, we went one, we didn't know where we were. And uh, so we walked that way as far as there we hit this wall. And here's a doorway. So, big latch on it, just almost like my door here. A little bit larger, not much, but a bit. So we went in and opened the door and we walked right in. And here's this big poker table and wine racks. And here's a wall. Now, where in the heck's this wall? Where are we? Well, she says, I don't know where we are. I said, I don't either. We'll have to come back and take a look, see what building's above us. We could never, never figured out that it was a library. The library is now owned by Ray and Loretta Bandet. They are working to restore it and give it new life. Hi. Hi. Ray just realized he has the keys in his truck, which is just at the grand. He has oh. his truck is at the grand. Okay. The building has had several owners over the years, and while it remains closed, the Bandets took PA now through it. Between 1912 and 1916, the library acted as a gentleman's club. According to records from the Prince Albert Historical Society, the gentleman's club closed after just four years due to extravagant spending and out-of-control costs. The building was then used by the Saskatchewan Provincial Police and Mounties in the 1920s before becoming a regional library somewhere around 1950. The Bandettes are looking at several options for the future of the building. The walls around the jail cell in the basement appear to be caked with sand, so they're hoping they can dig deeper into the mystery of one of the tunnels this summer. The couple has considered establishing a non-profit group to raise funds for the restoration, allowing people to buy a brick from the building to get their name on a piece of local history. I haven't as yet uh, had the need to, to take it down because uh, we, we want to do this when the, the time is right. And I feel that after 20 years of, you know, repairing and uh, maintaining this building, uh, now is the, the opportune time to expose and find out what is behind door number one, <laughs> <laughs> the wall. So did, the you, wall. did you anticipate, I mean, when you first saw, say, this, these bricks in this, did you think that there might be something behind there? That there... It, it was the only place, having heard about these bricks, the, uh, the, the pardon me, these uh, tunnels. Tunnels. Mm -hmm. uh, all the other walls were, you know, uh, solid concrete, and when this came about, it was the only one that was made out of bricks, and it was, you know, assured that this was the only place that they could have had it in order to connect with the rest of uh, the buildings in the city. It would be nice if we could open up the tunnels, as people are saying to me, open the tunnels. It'd be nice if we could open up the tunnels and, and make it something what Moose Jaw has and, and make it so that we could have... Um, Shows? Uh, well, gu guide, guide tours, tours and, and bring uh, more people into Prince Albert. I think Prince Albert is a very unique city. I think it, it, it can compare to something like Moose Jaw and I would really like to see something like that happen here in Prince Albert. And, and we're, you know, we're excited about the university opening up. There's a buzz. Everything's happening here, like in Prince Albert now. So in, in two years, maybe we could see something happen with the tunnels too. So it, it is possible. Uh, time, possi will tell. time will tell.